I took an Army Combatives Level 1 course. I was the only female and the smallest person, but my instructors gave me the tools to take on anyone in the class and teach those skills to the members of my unit. They emphasized on realistic training to create a sharp and disposed soldier. A lot of people say, well, I have my weapon, it has 30 rounds, and we have proved in the class that not 24-7 you're pointing your weapon at your opponent, right? We have a lot of people that get issued pistols, they think it's a magic wand, well, it's not. Sometimes you're not armed, sometimes you're walking out there, sometimes somebody jumps on you, and you at least have to learn how to cover yourself up, gain a dominant position, and finish the fight. We were punched, kicked, choked, slammed, and at the end of the day, physically exhausted. But with each day, we grew mentally and physically stronger. If I asked a room full of 100 people, do you want to go to combat with somebody who's ever punched in their face before, I guarantee all of them say no. So what do we do about it? We give them the training. You feel that your soldier cleared this room appropriately, but somebody was hiding behind a cabinet. They pop out as you're going to leave. They're approaching you, what, what do you do in this situation? If you don't take any kind of combatives training, what is your soldier going to do in that situation? How are they going to respond? Are they going to know to post them, shoot as necessary, if you're in that kind of situation? They keep driving in to turn to a frame, give it a hook, throw them down to finish the fight. Do they know how to finish the fight? They'll be able to go back to unit and teach the basic principles. They'll be able to go back to units and show the commanders this is safe to practice. They'll be able to go back to units and prove to the commanders this is really necessary for us to learn before they expose us to combat. This is Specialist Naya Patton for the Maryland Army National Guard.